Hello all. So today we will uh, solve all the gate 2020 questions in a single video. Earlier we have solved these uh, numerical questions, but uh, this time we are uh, giving solution in a single video. So here is first question. This was the contour map question. We have to find out find out the angle at A. Okay. So this is the Contour elevation 230 meter and this is at 220 meter. So we find here rise difference is equal to 230 220 gives the 10. So applying the 10 theta uh, formula here, so 10 theta is equal to perpendicular over base. So rise of this con uh, contour difference we, we found 10 then this is the distance of two contour uh, intervals 30 so theta will be 10 inverse 10 30 and solving we get the theta is equal to 10.4 so 10 theta by 10 theta formula we found the angle at a so this can be formula for every contours 10 theta is equal to and then theta is equal to this is the contour elevation difference and this will be the contour interval distance another questions so another question was in the plot shown below S1 and S2 are two known directional point source first given. So 95 decibel and 60 decibel sound uh, intensity is given at these points and we have to find out the uh, sound at receiving end. So sound intensity level at the receiver location are in decibel rounded off to decibel. So here a sim simple formula is used B2 is equal to B1 plus 20 log R1 over R2 and this formula is uh, derived from the base formula of acoustics so if any location we are receiving sound from two sources so our human ear can uh, differentiate up to 3 decibel of sound level so here we will consider only 95 decibel in equation so 95 we assume as b2 and we will find out b1 at receiving end and putting the values in formula we get the b1 is equal to 76 and in another video of acoustics, intensity level and sound source, we will dis discuss it in detail. Thank you. Then another question is of plan and section of an isolated foundation is given and we have to find out the volume of con concrete up to ground level. So in this type of question, what we do? We divide the this foundation section into three part like cuboid here, then this is the frustum from here to here, and this is the cuboid. So what we get cuboid one, then two, and this is the frustum of pyramid. So volume of cuboid one by simple formula L into B into H we get this and first term of pyramid formula is 1 over 3 H A1 plus A2 and this is the formula we have to remember and then putting the value we get this and this plan is also given so the all value is we take from here and from here and volume of QY2 again from formula so adding all volume we get the uh, volume of concrete as like this so 
So another question. This question is of a developer would like to select a residential plot of 3000 square meter for group housing in a city. Different options are given. In every group housing plot, 15% of the floor area over and above the maximum permissible FAR has to be utilized for EWS. The maximum built up area available from the options. So the maximum built up area available from the options. In options say hume a maximum built up area case wale option se milega. So here calculating for option four built up area is site into FAR then 9000 square meter and 15% over 9000 square meter for the EWS. So 15% over 9000. So 15% of 9000 comes this and total built up we get 10350 square meter but only from the option FAR is equal to 3. So the trick in this question was 15% of total FAR used. So we have to include this 15% of total FAR from here and then calculate then we get the answer again the question was this from power factor in a single phase alternate current circuit an electric lamp is rated 100 watt if 220 volt is impressed on it and the power factor is 0 0.85 the energy delivered in an R is so formula is power factor is equal to actual power by apparent power apparent power is delivered what is utilized so 100 watt lamp will consume energy in one hour we get the calculation 100 into 3600 joule then converting into second hour and 100 watt hour and putting the value in formula 0 0.85 is given power factor and actual power is given and we have to find out the energy delivered utilized so energy delivered is equal to and this so simply from the formula again the next question was parking from parking a parking area measuring 52 meter into 4.67 meter in approached through a driveway So, this question is from parking and we have to find out the number of car here. A parking area measuring this one is approached through a driveway as shown. The parking is designed at an angle of 30 degree with the parking bay of 2.5 meter into 5 meter. So, here we use the formula L is equal to 0 0.58 plus 5N and this is for the angle of 30 degree. If the angle is given 30 degree, we use this formula total length 52 here 0 0.58 plus 5n. So n is equal to 10 cars. If the angle is 45 degree, we use the formula L is equal to 3.54n plus 1.77. And if the formula is uh, angle is given 60 degree and 60 degree type of parking, we have to calculate then this formula and for 90 degree this formula so another question was a basement wall resist lateral pressure exerted by soil and water the soil pressure amount to this kilonewton per square meter for every meter of depth below ground level the subsoil water level is one meter below ground level and hydrostatic pressure of water is this so every meter of depth below ground level the total lateral pressure exerted on the wall 2 meter below ground 2 meter below ground level here we have to find out the total lateral pressure on wall 
here. So, ground level, then one meter level, subsoil water level start, then three meter total this retaining walls depth and pressure at two meter below ground level is is equal to pressure by soil plus hydrostatic pressure by water. So pressure by soil will be 4.5 kN per square meter and the depth is here 2 meter height. So simply into H then 2 meter comes here plus hydrostatic pressure by water 9.8 into 1 water from water from here exhilarated by this and some subsoil water level is this and this is the ground level so we calculate this and and putting the value in formula 18.8 is answer next question is a room measures 5 meter into 10 meter into 3 meter so the uh, given value is solar radiation incident on the roof surface is given outdoor air temperature outside film coefficient is given and the outdoor mean radiant temperature is equal to outdoor air temperature the, the minimum reduction required in solar absorptance of the roof to achieve a 20 degree reduction in solar air temperature. So simply we use the formula T solar air is equal to T outside plus A into I over H naught. So here the value is I naught outside temperature A absorptivity of the surface I is equal to global solar irradiance H naught is equal to heat transfer coefficient for radiation and convection. So putting the value we get the T solar air 20 is given or we uh, get it by calculating from the outdoor air temperature. So in this question uh, there was also a mistake. So uh, we assume 20 here as T solar air from the question given. 20 is equal to 40 plus then we calculate A. So the formula is this. Thank you. And subscribe our channel for getting the info about a new video for gate numericals solutions of all the year. And thank you.